Welcome back. We're continuing to find the slope of a line using two points on that line. So let's take a look at another one. Let's look at the point minus 3, minus 1, and the point 2, and a minus 1. Um, let's go ahead and uh, graph this to get an idea of what we're looking at. So let's graph this real quick. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this is our y axis and this is our x axis. So how do we find the slope? Well, let's go ahead and plot these points and see what we're looking at. So we have a minus three and a minus one, so that point's gonna be right here, it's point one. And we have a two and a minus one, that point's gonna be right here, so that's point two. Let's connect these with a line. Or that was horrible. There we go. Okay, so what you see is we get um, what's called a horizontal line. Um, these two points give a horizontal line, which as we saw with the vertical line, um, let's not assume that our slope is zero, but let's plug it into our formula. Um, let's not assume that our slope is undefined. Let's go ahead and see what our slope is. So we have a minus one minus a minus one, it's being careful with our negative signs here, and we have a minus three minus two. This gives us zero in the numerator and minus five in the denominator. Um, this actually ends up being zero. Um, zero in our numerator is actually perfectly fine and our slope did end up being zero. This actually makes sense because if we move along the x-axis, there's no change up or down. Um, and then so, since we have no slope, so our slope is zero. And this is actually all uh, the case for all horizontal lines. So um, we should be able to identify them um, by either looking at the slope or by graphing it. And so let's take a look at another one. Let's say we have the line containing the points 1, 2, and 2, 1. Okay, let's go ahead and find our slope. This is point 1, this is point 2. So we have 2 minus 1 divided by the difference in the x coordinates 1 minus 2 and we get 1 over minus 1 or a slope of just minus 1. Okay, fairly straightforward just using our slope formula here. Let's do another one. Let's say we have minus, whoa, excuse me, minus 2, 0, and the point 0, 3. Okay, so using our slope formula, we have the difference in the y coordinates, so we have 0, minus 3 and divided by the difference in the x coordinates. So we have minus 2 minus 0. So we have a minus 3 in the numerator and a minus 2 in the denominator. The negative signs cancel so we stick with a 3 over 2. So that's our slope here. Um, which means that for every three steps we move up in the y direction we move two steps in the positive direction on the x-axis. Okay, so it's very intuitive. Slope is actually very, uh, it's actually a lot easier to read um, once you just have a rational number here because this is your rise and this is your run. Okay, uh, let's, let's take a look at this one. Let's say we have the point 5, 4 and the point minus 2, minus 4. Okay, so let's find our slope. This is point 1, this is point 2. Let's subtract our our y coordinates, find the difference. We have a four minus a minus four divided by the difference in the x coordinates. We have a five minus a minus two. Always write your negative numbers in the parentheses so you don't get confused and your signs don't run together. Um, these two negative signs cancel, giving us eight. And these two negative signs cancel, which gives us seven. So our slope is eight over seven. And real quick, let's look at, a, at one more. Let's say we have, um, just off to the side, let's say we have the points 9, 9 and the point 9, 9. Okay, here we're given two identical ordered pairs, um, which would seemingly take up the same spot on the map. Um, it would just be a spot. If this was 9 over 9 and 9, this would be just a one point. Um, theoretically, we can only have... Um, one point take up a spot on the Cartesian plane. A line requires at least 
two unique points. Um, so while we have coordinates to plug into our slope formula, it actually wouldn't make sense to do so because we have no line. So, um, you know, we would get our slope 0 over 0, or a slope of 0, but this wouldn't make any sense because we saw that um, a slope of 0 gives us a horizontal line. But here we have no line because we have two um, identical points. So I uh, just want to make you aware of that, and uh, we'll do some more of these in the next video.